I've uh, held various positions with different companies, but uh, right now uh, with BAE Systems, I'm in a, I've been in a systems uh, security engineering role, and right now I'm in a risk assessment team lead role. So I am staying on the edge of what is developing as per uh, federal government regulations with uh, risk management and, uh, and information security controls. As things progress in the information security environment that the CSSLP is going to be a, 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 a cutting edge approach to advising and helping to lead s software development teams. It will almost certainly be required by uh, the government and uh, I think that it would behoove uh, people to get in at the beginning of this and help, uh, you know, build this uh, awareness as soon as possible so that uh, we can provide uh, better software services and ultimately defense for uh, governments and the nation. I found that the, the, the software development process and the information security process were not opposed to each other. They were actually helping to strengthen the uh, development process. And so I started pursuing security, uh, eventually going for the CISSP and then moving on into engineering uh, with the ISSEP. So when they came out with the uh, CSSLP, I was excited because that hadn't been out there before and it was right in line with what my uh, experience and background was. Starting out with, you know, uh, information security and, and working, you know, ensuring that network and hardware is uh, security uh, is in place and that patches are installed and everything is, is, is a constant uh, necessity in, you know, any computing environment. Uh, but as we've come to find out that the uh, we've hardened that enough now that the uh, threat the adversaries out there are starting to use uh, they're finding it more difficult to penetrate uh, through the 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 regular means which they have been and now they're starting to come in at the application layer so it is, it is critical that uh, strong software development practices are built in from the beginning so that software uh, that is put into production has that, those defenses built in from the beginning. BAE is supportive of uh, certifications of all types, uh, specifically uh, information security certifications as it is needed contractually as per DOD 8570.1. Uh, the CISSP is the gold standard for information security certifications and uh, other certifications as well that hit certain niche areas within 8570.1. The CSSLP isn't required by that yet but uh, it is expected to be in a pretty short order. I think that there will be a whole new category of uh, certifications that are required and I expect CSSLP to be at the top of those in advising government personnel as to what the best practices are in software and secure software development. In some of my positions at BAA Systems here I've uh, continued to develop uh, software uh, applications that help uh, uh, tabulate information security measures and uh, I have uh, found that oftentimes uh, there is there is the approach of a, a hard shell and a soft core in computing environments and so the information security uh, process needs to continue at the network and hardware level uh, that does, should not diminish at all, yet as part of the software development process, 
including uh, uh, secure coding and testing to that effect needs to be built into the requirements of the system that is being developed. Otherwise, uh, software products will get to market and not have those uh, safeguards built in as they need to be. With the, the, the whole hard shell soft core concept that part of the increasing the strength at the application layer include, is, is part of hardening the core so that, uh, and that also insider threats come into play. There has to be enough controls and security features built in so that even if someone got in, say a hacker got in from the outside or you have an insider with uh, inappropriate uh, authority, there need to be controls in place that strengthen that core, harden the core so that it is a, a safer operating environment. I also feel that the information system security engineering process it can assist with the software development process in that the system security engineering obviously aligns with system engineering and so software development aligns with uh, the system engineering process as well. There's software engineering and that can play right into the uh, process. So these are not mutually exclusive endeavors and ensuring that uh, security is baked into that process will only strengthen the end product.